Okay guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and install this forge carbon with red alcantara, forge inlay, and of course, LED display on the one and only Urus or Uras or whatever you wanna call it, Lamborghini. And of course, at our home, bikers.com. Part number for this bad boy will be VZ102349. It is one of our newest steering wheel that we are adding on our line. Make sure to look through the whole installation video. You take out your no, stereo? Airbag. You airbag. take out your stereo? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take out the safety pin. So you'll take off the safety pin. Then you'll take it all the way up. Alright, you push this and then that releases this pin here. Alright, so there's a clip in here in the middle. Right there in the middle, there's a clip. So when you release this pin, it will let you press this tab inside. And then that will release this from there. So you'll go ahead and start pulling this wire out of this clip. We didn't know they were getting us actually Audi Volkswagen. All right, and then your airbag is finally released. All right, so now we we gotta go ahead and take the center bolt off. So the bolt is uh, like this. And you have a bunch of little thingies. I honestly don't know the name for this. So if you guys know it, please leave it on the comments below. Let me know. I'll give you 50 bucks or credit if you tell me what's that called. But if you don't have that, you can use this. It is a T55. And basically, I learned this from the camera guy. You fit it into the slot. And it fits good. So As long as there's no wiggle room, it should be good. So you'll make sure it's like locked and then of course you go lefty all right so this is off hello and then okay and then it's gone and then there's no cables really nothing like it's crazy the whole Harness comes out with the airbag, so you know what that means. The, the wiring is going to be interesting. So we're gonna start pulling off the parts that we're gonna put over to the to the circle. I have to take these off and transfer them over to here so we can have the mounting brackets. So I need some stars. So we're gonna go ahead and take off these bolts because we're gonna transfer this, these brackets back to the other stereo.
I put the flathead in and then you just push it down and then pull it out. See how it moves? Like this is one piece. Put your little flathead in here and just push up. And we have both up. Now you want to go ahead and do the same here. You just, they're just push pins and you just have to like wiggle, 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 wiggle on them. Alright, that's out. Now we're going to proceed in taking off this bracket. Which one? This bracket. I'm going to take off the wire from here. off the sterile part now we're gonna go ahead and push out these uh, buttons Same thing on this side, you'll start pushing it out. Disconnect. And this is the top part that has your buttons connected. This one has an extra tab. Slide it through against the bottom, like the photographer guy said. All right, so now I'm gonna get my stars and then take out these bolts for the paddle shifters. So now we're gonna go ahead and take out this part. rest of the wiring. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start putting the harness back in place.
go ahead and plug the paddle shifter back on. Let's connect it. And I'll go ahead and put it into this little clip. Slide this hook into this slot. Once you have it into the slot, you want to make sure those holes align. You'll go ahead and proceed and bolting it back on. Tucking all the wire into the little brackets. You'll grab your buttons. So now you might need to go ahead and do a slit right here to enter here. Okay. So we will let your glue in here. this in
hop in one side and then Hoping this up for uh, for the clock spring. Wow, it's bigger. to the bear bolt and try to <laughs> we got our terra system here We are doing a direct line from your steering wheel to your smart box. Smart box. We grab this lighter. Now slowly start shrinking. As long as you have the the heat on, it'll start shrinking. Just creating a bigger extension. Creating that extension so this wire could be movable when the steering wheel is turning, which the wire will be hidden in here. The only reason we're doing that is because we don't want to go ahead and tap the airbag or bring in a wire straight from the fuse box in because that will make the horn not work and you don't get a 12 voltage in this car so 
we'll pull this a bit so we can have that movement in there mm -hmm. the hardest part is like trying to figure out how much is it actually gonna need Basically now to take off the steering wheel, you would need to unattach the white wire. We're gonna connect these tabs back on. I'm sorry I haven't really explained everything, but we have a special visitor. This is a special car, special person. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect this harness back on. We're gonna connect this back on. This red tab I can. Now that you have your steel, your air bag on, make sure it's on there tight. Now we could connect the battery back on. Now you move this, that's to your safety. And get it. Connect it. Tight enough, but not too tight that you might crack your nut or bolt. Then you just get everything back. We just need to see to secure the box. 